Hello everyone. Welcome to my tutorial for today. I trust we are all doing so fine. So today we are going to be making a short cow dress with this fabric. This is just two yards. Okay. And then I cut it as in I cut my length. Okay, the remaining one I attached it at the side. I hope you see it. Okay, originally it was this way. And this one was here, you know, like a full Ankara of length 45. Okay, so I cut my length. My length is 40. I cut 41 inches. And then the remaining one I attached it at the side. Okay. So if you measure it now, it will be more than two yards. I hope you get that. Okay, so we're going to be folding into four. It's already into two fold. I'll fold again, making it into four. Okay, so I folded it. Next will be to take my shoulder measurement and my sleeve. I'll be cutting the shoulder and the sleeve at the same time, okay? So this is my shoulder, eight, and then my sleeve is nine. This one inch is for the fold, okay? So I'll be using all of it, sorry. Okay. This is three inches for shoulder slope. I have a zipper allowance of one inch. I use 10 inches okay and the next is my hip line this is my hip line here I hope you see it this is my hip line okay so I'll go down below my hip line by Let's say seven inches. Can actually be more, but let me use seven inches. Okay. Now my hip measurement is 44. I will make, I will take the measurement at my, remember this is my hemline now. So I'll place my hip measurement, 44, okay, divided into 4, of course, will give us 11, sewing so allowance of 2 inches, okay, sorry about that noise, please, so, okay, I'll reduce the sewing allowance to 1 inch, please, instead of 2, so ignore this one. I'll use one inch sewing allowance. Now at this armhole, I'll move in by one and a half inches. Okay. And then I'll connect it to this point and then slightly curve here. This is what I mean. I... So this is one and a half inches I moved in. This is my armhole. Okay. So I will connect it to my hip line. And then connect this as well. Okay. 
two. And then I'll remove this part. Open the arm hole. So we're not left with just the neck line. Neck of four inches width. Four and a half. That's for the front. For the back, one and a half. So this is for the back. This is for the front. So I move the back first. And then the front. So now if you are using lining, you line, but me, I'm not using any lining. So all I'll need to do will be to just fold this armhole side. I'll fold it. Close the lower part of the back, okay? You know I'm putting zip. So I decide the length of my zip, say about 20 inches. Since my zip allowance is one inch, from 20 inches down, I should take one inch and close it down, okay? And then possibly use bias to knit in the neckline. And if you have fabric, extra fabric, you cut facing. Now I folded the sleeve side. That's the armhole area. And I used a straight piece of fabric for the facing, okay? I'll just need to use my hem gum to hem it this way. Okay. So the next thing I will do will be to attach the zip. When I do that, I'll close at the two sides. I'll just take the shape. Okay. Remember, the only place I used the measurement was at the hemline where I used my hip measurement and then I added one inch sewing allowance. I hope you remember that. So of all of these places, I did not use any measurements. Okay. So I'll go to the machine now and attach zip, close at the two sides and fold the hemline. Okay, lovely people. So we have come to the end of the tutorial. I should say this is get your short cow in less than 10 minutes. Okay. Now I tried using a belt on this headless and it practically changed the dress to another style and it's looking so, so beautiful. I hope you see it. Thank you for watching till the end. I really appreciate your time on my channel. And please, if you are new, subscribe before leaving. And if this tutorial has been helpful to you in any way, please give us your thumbs up. Don't also forget to share our videos. Till we meet in my next tutorial, keep being innovative, keep being kind to people and loving people. Okay? And no matter what, keep being happy. Please don't forget to always pray for me and everyone around you, including your perceived enemy. Take care of yourself. Bye.